I don't wanna die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gon' tell the story was different with me. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't. Yeah. I feel good sometimes I don't. Like, What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Michelle here, and I'm here with what another video. That's right. Um, so if you if this is your first time being on my channel, then definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified on all my new videos because they are fire. You know they are. Um, so and if you're not, then what's up, fam? Thanks for tuning in to another video. So for today's video, it is going to be on this hair which is this icy um beauty hair um or icy hair i don't know which one they really go by icy hair or icy beauty anyways this hair is the mongolian kinky curly hair and i actually did a video talking about the closure on this unit um and this is the same closure i am wearing so the video was um discussing the closure on this hair and i'll be able to show you guys what i did with that closure okay so for those of you guys that are wondering what i did with the rips in my closure this is what i did i found this off of a lady who did this on her youtube um so pretty much what i did is i used to dance so I have um, tights that were similar to, or that were the closest to the shade of my skin tone. Um, so I just used those. I cut up some bits of those tights and then I got fabric adhesive and I used it and I pretty much used that to cover the areas where the lace ripped. Um, so the fabric I adhesive I used it looks like this and I got it from Joann's and it's pretty much it comes in a pack of like four and this was like three four three dollars or four dollars and as you can see it dries down pretty clear and yeah and it's waterproof so that's why I really like it and let me show you what it looks like on the actual side of the scope of the closure and um, this is where I used it. So as you guys can see, this is my finger and where, and this part is not my finger. So that's the part where I used it. Here is, it, here's where I put my finger down. But as you can see, it blends perfectly. So um, if you guys want to see a video on how I did that, just let me know. Um, it works really well. So I'm so happy I came across that video. Um, I'll try to find it and try to link it in the description box, but if I can't, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so that's how I um, patched the holes on my closure, which is awesome. You can't even tell. It looks great. So I had a video saying, did my icy hair closure bust a wide open? And it definitely did on your girl. Um, but in that video, I discussed me reaching out to Kate and letting her know this is what happened. I haven't wore the hair. You know, it was a lot of us going back and forth on um, Instagram. But, you know, because I believe in their customer service, I know that she, I knew that she was going to be able to work with me to figure something out. So we couldn't come to like exactly what I wanted but I mean she was willing to work with me she sent me another closure however I did have to spend like $15 to pay for the shipping but it is what it is in comparison to the cost of the closure I was willing to do it um at first I didn't want to because I was like why like I haven't even worn the uh hair and the closure yet and she was like pretty much we're not getting any profit from this so you know I was understanding and I was willing to pay that price just as long as I got a new closure like that's all I really wanted to do because I was like I haven't even wore this hair so this is my first time actually wearing the hair since then um so pretty much I have it in two little space buns which I never do this hairstyle I think it kind of looks a little different for me um but you guys let me know what you guys think about it so comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it also give it a thumbs up if you like how the hair turned out so I did dye the hair um I was trying to achieve that color Sade has I think mine's a little darker um but it's still okay I was like do I really want to go in and bleach this hair again no not really so I did bleach it with 30 volume developer or was it 20 it was either 30 or 20 volume developer and then I used 
um, my purple shimmer lights shampoo to wash it out to make it not rusty and not look like that rusty orange um, or not rusty a brassy brassy orange so this is what we have um, what I do like about this hair is it doesn't really shed the only shedding I really had is when I was like cutting these bangs because um, I wanted like that like fringy type of bangs um, or a side part or I was trying to do the flip over method but because I do not like the closure on this unit it, I felt like it was tangling up and it wasn't looking good so this is what I came up with okay so this is and because it had ripped this is what I decided to do um, they did send me a new closure and with the new closure I see new packaging so this is the new packaging that I see it comes in this cute little um, ziploc bag and then it says i see here on it and then it comes in with the same card that they have before right here with kate and jesse on it and all of that so um so yeah and that shipping took really quick so it took like maybe like three five days i would honestly say about three days i don't know i forgot about it and next thing you know someone was knocking on my door and i was just like what is this like who is this for and I saw it's for me and then I was just like oh oh this is the closure so that was really nice um, communication with Jay Jesse and Kate is excellent I've never really communicated with Jesse but I've communicated with Kate and you know she responds pretty quickly especially with us just you know communicating through Instagram that was our means of communication I don't know how quickly she is with email but I would assume that it's um, just as quickly um, and yeah so let's actually talk about this hair and what I think about this hair so like I said this is my first time wearing it um, when I showed it in the video before that's after I just realized that the um, closure ripped so I did a method that I saw online to kind of revamp that closure and then when I feel like this one's starting to get a little too much and I can't handle it and I can't like salvage it I'll use the new closure that she sent me so I'm happy to have that one um, but this is what the hair looks like uh, the curl pattern is really pretty and if you don't want it to be too full then do not blow dry this hair and I would definitely say do not blow dry this hair if you have a closure um, because that could probably you know add to it, the closure ripping um, but what I did this time is now my curls look way better than they did in that video when I first showed it and what I did was basically I washed it um, I put in like gel and maybe some mousse and stuff like that and then I just let it air dry and that's why my hair is not super big like it's pretty like flat which I like I don't like hair too big but then I don't like it too flat I think it's the perfect length so the and speaking of lengths the lengths I got I believe was a 18 inch closure and then 20 and 22 and 22 inch bundles so I have three bundles and then one closure um, I don't think I used all of the three bundles um, no I definitely didn't use all the three bundles and I often do that when it comes to curly hair because I like to have um, hair to refresh my units with so if I feel like the curls or the hair starts looking a little ratty and natty and uh, then I'll take out the old um, tracks and then I'll put in the new ones I have that I left out um, when dyeing the hair, I followed Sade's video, Sade Watkins' video. I'll also link that down below. And I started dyeing the hair from the middle um, to the bottom. And no, from the top, from the middle to the top to the bottom. So I sectioned my hair into three little layers. And then I did that. And I left it on for maybe like an hour or so. And then I washed it out. And even with that, the curls still look so poppin' so nice the hair does not look dry to me i feel like it doesn't look super juicy but it doesn't look you know dry and crunchy i feel like it looks like a natural like girl's hair like it's just cute like what's up so um overall i definitely would recommend this company i guess i can do a update if you do want me to see if you do want me to see if you do want to see an update video then you guys have to give this video a thumbs up and let's try to get this video to 100 likes um overall i hope you guys really do like how this hair looks on me and i'm excited to show you different ways i'll style this unit um with me and curly hair it's like hit or miss but i feel like i'm definitely going to be rocking this hair a lot so that is it for now i hope you guys enjoy this video and 
Kate, thank you for helping me out with that closure situation. I really do appreciate it. So I really do like um, ICs here, customer service. I think they are true to their word when they do um, pet their customers first. So that is it. Um, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then follow me on all my social medias, social medias, which will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.